Let's find the sum of these two fractions here. We have one third plus one fourth. And it's a bit of a problem because the denominators, the numbers on the bottom, they're different. We can't just add these together. If they were the same, we could do that. So how do we get these to be the same number? Well, what we need to do is find a common denominator. So let's look at the factors of three and four and see if there's one that matches. So three times one, that's three. Three times two is six. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15. So those are some of the factors of 3. For 4, we have 4 times 1, that's 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12, and wait, there it is, 12. So 12, that's the common factor between 3 and 4. We can use this as our common denominator. So what we can do, if we multiply 1 third by 1, it doesn't change anything. And 4 over 4, 4 divided by 4, that's the same thing as 1. So we're going to multiply this by 4 over 4. 4 times 1, that's 4. 4 times 3, that's 12. So now we have 12 down here. You're probably guessing over here we need to multiply by 1 again as well. And to get that common denominator, we'll use 3 over 3 instead of 1. 3 times 1, that's 3. 3 times 4, that's 12. Now we have a common denominator. 4 twelfths, that's the same thing as 1 third, and 3 twelfths, that's the same thing as 1 fourth. But now with this common denominator, we just add them together. 4 plus 3, that gives us 7, and then we just keep the 12 on the bottom, since it's a common denominator. We're done. 1 third plus 1 fourth, that gives us 7 twelfths. This is Dr. B, adding the fractions 1 third plus 1 fourth. Thanks for watching.